Mattoon police took control of its first drug house in more than 23 years, and some of what they found could end up helping the community. Neighbors reported that house to police because they saw a lot of people coming in and out at odd hours. The owner of the house, Daniel Tipsword, was arrested. Police found drugs and thousands of dollars inside. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting is in our control room tonight. So, Courtney, why did police take this house? And Jessica, well, because it sends a message to the community that police take grub, drug crimes seriously. Now, the money obtained from that house, as well as the money that will be made through its sale, will be used to help the police department in the future, and it will be specifically used to combat the sale of meth. This home at 717 North 4th Street doesn't look like much from the outside. But it's the first drug house the Mattoon Police Department has seized in more than 20 years. It's very unusual for the police to seize a, a residence. It's not uncommon to seize cash or cars, um, but very rarely, if ever, a house. The investigation started when police got calls from neighbors who reported seeing cars at the house around the clock. Police decided to check it out, but before they could go inside, they needed a warrant. We made a few traffic stops of people leaving the area and located methamphetamine. That was enough to get a warrant to search the home on February 22nd. What they found confirmed their suspicions. The guys rammed the door and went in the, and they found the homeowner in the uh, bathroom flushing methamphetamine down the toilet. All that was left of that meth was about three ounces, but enough to make the possession a Class X felony. They also discovered something huge in the closet. There was a shoebox on the ground and we opened it up and it was full of cash. Um, and we counted it later as $40,000. Police arrested Daniel Tipsword and Bruce McGinnis. McGinnis pleaded guilty to possession of meth. Tipsword's trial is pending. We rarely ever see a drug dealer of this magnitude that owns his own home. Police say seizing the house is about more than just stopping the drug sales. It's to let people know that the buck stops with them. Anyway, it's been a good seizure for us. You're playing with fire. If, if, if you're in the game, you know, eventually you're going to get caught. Now, this has been a long process. Even though they searched the home on February 22nd, the house wasn't awarded to them until July 11th. Now, they're just waiting to put the home up for bed. Jessica. All right, Courtney, thank you so much. A tips word had owned the home since around 2012. Police say he had been paying his mortgage with money from drug sales. His charges carry a possibility of six to 30 years behind bars.